you're wondering what the heck this place is, just picture a Saka Aquarium, a zoo and a museum all in one place. That is what Nifril Aqua Zoo is. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like inside. I want you guys to subscribe to the channel right now for more family friendly travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest videos. Let's get inside Nifril. Andy, say anemone really fast five times. Anemone, anemone, anemone. Failed the first time. Anemone, anemone, anemone. Anemone, 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 anemone. 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 I did it. First reason to visit, guys, is to check out the Colours exhibition, which is pretty much the first exhibit as soon as you enter. It is an aquarium slash I would say like an art space and some really cool lights that change colours on the curtains. It feels like a hybrid between an art museum, a team lab and an aquarium. And the tanks themselves are so well designed, like you'll be amazed when you see how well put together it is when it comes to the colours of the fish and the corals and the tanks and how well it fits together with the lights on the curtains that change colour. It's really like nothing you've probably ever seen before. It's nothing we've ever seen before. It's just a different type of aquarium experience. But I have never seen anything like that before. What is that? Like a plant or is that oh, like an actual plant. octopus thing? Plant. Yeah, plant. Uh, we, we should have looked on the other side of the tank because it actually says what it is. It is a green brittle star, so I'm guessing it's a type of stuff. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like it before. Can you guys see the black spotted jawfish? Part of the area that houses aquatic animals is this part here where you see some really unique marine animals. We've seen octopus, some really unique fish that we've never seen before and a starfish that looks like octopus. It's pretty amazing and there's this one section where you can actually put your finger in and uh, they're called doctor fish and they come and like chew the dead skin off your fingers which the kids really loved. This, this area is awesome. This aquarium is so, so cool. So like, they've got music, sort of like ambient, dreamy music playing in the background as well. And the place looks dreamy as well. Like, like I said, I mentioned before, it has those team lab artsy feels. And then you have these really amazing species of animals around you that you can see and admire. So, top place. Freaking amazing, nothing like we've ever experienced before, like this was a totally different aquarium slash art, just 3D art, digital art museum type of experience, so I highly recommend it so far. We've only been through like the first two exhibits I believe, or three, and there's like about five more, so I can't wait to see the rest of it. I seriously, have you ever seen an aquatic animal exhibit like this before? This is crazy, it's so creative how they put everything together. 
I'm just continuously amazed. We have to find this guy amongst these what tulips. It's like what an insect. He's like a tulip insect. He's definitely camouflaged. I don't see it at all. I don't think it's there. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there he is. <laughs> oh, he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> he's tricky, man. He's I a tricky know, one. Man. He's, he's a troll. He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. <laughs> I was starving now. I need to my belly show. Come up north with me. So, this is a waterside exhibit, and these deadly animals are really up close so obviously this can't be a completely open section because these things will eat you including the white tiger just behind it. it can walk right up to the glass it's super safe don't worry about that but that's the cool thing you get to see these animals really close as opposed to a zoo when you're looking at them from a distance what do you like so far um tiger tiger did you get scared when i was jumping on the glass yeah. no I'm a rabbit monster scared. You're not scared? No. You're never scared? No. 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 Scared of ghosts? No, no. About zombies? Zombies are worms. <laughs> you are scared of them. This is taking it to the next level. Like everything is just completely open. Like look at that pelican there. It's like <laughs> on the fence. We'll have to go up closer to it, but yeah. yeah. Look at all the lemurs, they're really close by. <laughs> Can you believe how close we are to this big guy? Oh my god, I can almost reach out and touch it. section is an absolute highlight because this is where the open zoo concept really comes into play. You've got lemurs, you've got a massive pelican, you've got birds, penguins and it's all open so you can get up really close to them. Obviously you can't touch them but this is as close as you can get to these animals. Pretty spectacular. Whee! And that's the end of Nifral Aqua Zoo, guys. I hope I convinced you why you need to come here with kids when you're in Osaka. We're off to explore the rest of Expo City now. If you want to know what else there is to do in Expo City with kids, make sure you check out this video right above here. If you haven't already, I want you guys to subscribe to our channel right now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. And, oh, and give this video a like. It's the best way to support our channel. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.